Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today it's going to be different. We are not going to do any DIY project or tutorial, anything like that. But it's gonna be more in chat. So it's gonna be more in chica chica this time. Palahita. So for those who doesn't know me, I'm Hans Berdejo. I'm an event stylist and I've been working or I've been uh, an event stylist for almost six years now. And I usually get questions like, how I became an event stylist or what do we need to do to become an event stylist? May nana na mga question. So I come up with this video and it's gonna be my story. This is how I became an event stylist. It all started in our chapel here in Barangay Kinasangan. When I was a kid, I always went to our chapel to help clean and arrange the chair during fiesta. At a very young age, I love being creative, I love arts, I love flowers, and I always fascinated with our florist at that time. It was the late Dudong Navarro and Sir Judy. So they were my first mentor. I became their assistant and I just learned through observation and constant practice. So basically there's no formal training whatsoever. I just learned everything through observation. So up until now, it's my yearly panata to offer my service in our chapel and to Senor Santo Nino to make it beautiful every fiesta. I am grateful and thankful for the experience. So here are some of the pictures we have in our chapel. In college, I wanted to take fine arts, but it's very expensive. My parents can't afford it. So I went to Cebu Technological University. I took up BS education, but during the time, there were only two majors, math and TLE, technology and livelihood education. So I'm not good at math. So I took TLE as my, TLE as my major and I loved it. Um, in TLE, you have drafting, you have uh, handicraft, um, culinary arts, uh, flower arrangement. So it's very near to my heart. Uh, I'm very happy. I loved it and it enhanced my talent and my skills. So I graduated in college and then took the board exam. I passed. <laughs> And then uh, I applied uh, as an ESL instructor, English as secondary language, for Korean students. I stayed there for three years, and during that time, I had the most beautiful room. I always have fresh flowers in my room. After that, I challenged myself and tried to apply in a BPO industry, call center. So I applied in Teletech as customer service representative and it's where I met Roderick Bautista. Yes, and today it's his birthday. Happy birthday! So Roderick was one of the TLs in Teletech. So one time we were tasked to uh, decorate the, the floor with a frozen theme uh, decoration. So we created ice castles, snows, etc. So during that time, uh, we were talking and then we found out that we have same interests and same passion. So we decided to, uh, to resign. So um, uh, we started the, the centerpiece uh, event styling. So uh, I always wanted to be an event stylist. Uh, but I just don't have the guts. Uh, not until I met uh, Roderick Bautista. So I decided to go with him and start the business in event styling. And uh, again, I would like to thank Roderick Bautista because he is one of the person who 
push me or um, uh, motivates me to be uh, the best. So again, on your birthday, I would like to thank you for everything you've done and for being so supportive even though you're so busy now and your coordination and uh, white mannequin or <laughs> so uh, again thank you so much so um, it's been six years already since we uh, started with dance styling and it was not easy so there were a lot of challenges and I'm gonna discuss that on my next uh, topic but to sum everything, uh, to sum up everything, again, uh, it takes a lot of hard work, uh, dedication, uh, perseverance, and uh, be nice to to people, uh, and um, try to uh, work for free for experience because experience is the best teacher. Okay, I hope you find it interesting and please hit the like button if you like this video and please don't forget to subscribe i hope you learned something today thank you